Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, do whatever your soul, your spirit, your higher self is guiding you to do. If it's not guiding you to do anything, then don't do anything at all, but watch. I'm sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. Stay in the purest of white light. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on. I swear every time I get on camera, I have a hard time shuffling my cards. It's like, look at that. Look at that. Just a mess. Just a mess. I got to get myself together. I got to look professional out here. <laughs> look at that. I'm telling you every time. But when I'm off camera, it's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm telling you, it's, it's someone does not want me having my messages out there. It's okay. We'll, we'll take care of it. Anyways, let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on. Oh, man. I really have like a hard time sometimes uh, with these videos because channeling is extremely draining. Um, so that when I'm done channeling, sometimes I'm channeling for like an hour and it's extremely draining and I'm like, do I even want to put another message out? That's why like I've only been putting maybe one video out, um, uh, per day. And then I have some stuff going on behind the scenes for privacy, people playing with my videos, not wanting it to upload. It's taking like, sometimes it's taking like 12 hours to upload a 30 minute video, things like that. So, <laughs> but we're going to make it through this. Uh, it's okay. This is part of the uh, um, journey. So anyways, let's thank our haters for motivating us to work even more. Anyways, we have someone that's taking action, going for it to either defend themselves, stand their ground, come towards you, bring something to your attention. But I think someone is defending your character or theirs. Uh, so someone is taking action, right? Uh, someone may be taking action to take something to court, uh, getting a lawyer, things of that nature, but they are absolutely standing their ground or you are being advised to stand your ground as well and go for absolutely what it is that you want to go for, whether this has to do with your passion in life or a relationship, a connection, work opportunity, whatever it is, you will have victory in that. So just... Keep that in mind. I don't know if you are struggling right now. Absolutely, you will have success. You're showing up in beautiful energies out here. I don't know if you are having some type of second guess or something like that, or maybe there's someone that's wanting to block your movement forward. Someone's trying to discourage you from going going towards something or someone. You are absolutely being encouraged. There is nothing that can hold you back. This is divinely meant to be, which is why we have the magician out here. This is meant to be, okay? You are being advised to stand your ground, as I said earlier. This has to do with either you working with a queen of pentacles, the truth has been revealed to you about this woman's character. There were people behind the scenes trying to tell you that this person was malicious, naive, incompetent, things like that. This is what I'm hearing. But the truth is being revealed about this person's character. So you are being advised to go for it. You may have already decided to go for it. You could be an emperor. Um, so you know what? The universe is fixing things up. It looks like there's been a lot of chaos going on behind the scenes with the fact that we have this six of wands out here. Someone is taking charge of their life. They have logically decided how they are going to move forward. They have logically defeated their enemies. Their enemies may not even be aware that they have been defeated. This is how logical this person is, okay? And they are moving forward. You may come, you come across as someone that's extremely intellectual. You don't do things impulsively with this six of wands out here. I know we have the knight of wands. We started with that, but what they're saying is that you are just choosing to move forward. You're taking action towards something that you have been paying attention to, planning, and things of that nature. But you're not coming off as someone impulsive to me. You're coming off as a planner. You're standing your ground. You're defending yourself or defending the person you are interested in, in, either in relationship or in work. But you are absolutely doing the right thing. This person you want to connect with is absolutely genuine. They may be from your past or you're just seeing them in a sincere character. You're seeing the truth about them. You want to connect with them. 
this person helps you see a side of you that other people have not been able to bring out and this has to do with that inner child of yours it's very hard to find people in life that can help us get in touch with our inner child help us heal those wounds so that we can live in our truth and things of that nature and this is enabling you to move forward take charge of your life you do have absolutely all of the necessary tools to take charge and move forward, uh, direct your path. And the universe is guiding you with this magician card out here. This is to connect with a queen of pentacles. This is someone you are seeing as a wife material. You may want to marry this person. Absolutely. This is going to help you seal to... I was going to say seal to karma waters. And then this is at the bottom. This is going to help you seal to karma waters. Um, with you and this person, this is going to be your justice, the both of you, okay? You could be an emperor, as I said, this person you want to connect with could be intuitively gifted. This could be like a high priestess or something of that nature. Someone knows quite a lot. I'm speaking to God honest truth. Someone knows quite a lot. It could be about you, life, the universe. They know a lot about just everything. Um, and you are very much intrigued about this woman, all by this woman. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You may be traveling to this woman or she may have to travel to you. This is why this eight of cups is out here. So you two are going to be connecting in some type of unique way. What I'm getting is that there are efforts made, being made behind the scenes by people to interfere with this. You could be living in fear yourself. You don't know how this person is going to view you. You've been trying to come up with a strategic way of connecting with this person. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You are dealing with some type of crazy person. You are dealing with someone who's a liar. This is what you could be trying to get away from. Dang. You guys saw that card. It came out in the reversed. It came out in the reversed. Okay, there could be a queen of pentacles in here as well. So there could be two women in here, the one you want to go to, and then the one you possibly have around you. And this could be your mother. This could be an ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, a sister. But someone in here, a mother figure has been misleading you. This is someone extremely jealous, very superficial, a liar has been misleading you heavily someone has been doing stuff behind the scenes to block your forward movement but they make it look like they're doing something out of the benefit out of the out of your best interest like they're acting on your behalf they're looking out for you but they are absolutely not someone is a liar someone is vain and she's not coming out as smart with this queen of swords out here in the reverse. This is someone with ulterior motives. You could be someone that's financially stable. And this woman, been, I said something about the emperor. There we go. There's an emperor. This could be someone that's financially motivated and you have a lot of money. Her attachment to you solidifies her position in life in her own way. So if she loses contact with you, she loses access to all of your money. This is why she's been doing all of this lying behind the scenes. She's been told to walk away, but this woman is set on controlling the narrative. She wants to keep controlling the narrative, but you are taking charge of the situation not letting anyone know your next move okay i need to concentrate so i can stop playing with these cars they keep i don't know what i swear every time i sit down to do my reading i cannot shuffle but when i get off camera it's like it's second nature to me this is someone that's a liar that's what i keep hearing she's a liar she's manipulated she is calculative everything this woman's telling i'm telling you she doesn't want you to move on. She's trying to trap you. She wants to bring problems to the person you are interested in as well. She wants to have this person locked up, caught up in some type of legal situation, have this person mentally trapped. She may want to come towards this woman to cause some type of mental illusion, tell her that you are not fit, you're not a good um 
partner to be with you may be someone that's into domestic situations and things like that she's coming in to cause some type of illusion she lied already quite a lot she's caused quite a lot of problems in the past in the present and she wants to keep doing it so now she's taking drastic action to bring problems to bring troubles to the person that you are interested in <clears throat> and this is to discourage you from connecting with this woman she sees this person as young and beautiful, vibrant, smart. She may not be all of those things. She may just be showing up here as a queen of pentacles because of the fact that maybe she's your mother or you two have a child or children together. But this is not someone that's business savvy, mother center, a child focused. This is not someone that focuses on your child or their children. She does not know how to keep the home front taken care of. This is someone that's lazy, does not like to work. Some of you gentlemen, you could work with this woman, like you have your own business and you hire this woman and she does absolutely nothing in the business, but you pay her. Make it make sense. How come, you know, I've never understood something in life. It's that the one of us that are actually genuine, we have to work 10 times harder for things in life. And that's because of our morals. Whereas the people that don't have any morals, they just get some of the best opportunities. They ending up with rich people that don't mind paying them for doing absolutely nothing. Like, don't you feel, don't you feel weird about that? Getting paid for doing nothing? Like someone pays you to do a job and instead of doing the job, you sit down on the couch doing nothing all day. You do absolutely nothing, but you still put in the time and say that you were working and they pay you. Don't you feel bad about that? This kind of person does not. This woman is also mentally trapped in her head because she has been pulling a lot of stunts behind the scenes to block some masculine from moving away. She, he is still moving away from you. Whether he ends up with this queen of wands or someone else, he's still going to leave you. This person has been divinely guided to leave you because you're financially focused. You have been guided, madame. Whoever you are, queen of pentacles with ulterior motives, you have been guided to walk away from lying, trying to cause legal issues for someone. It's not going to go in your favor. It is not going to go in your favor. This is going to expose you in the worst way possible. Walk away. You see this eight of cups here? You are being told, ma'am, to walk the heck away. You want to come in, take some type of drastic action towards someone that has done nothing to you, but because you don't want to go let go of a man, this is all for a man and for money. It's not that she likes this man or loves this man. It's just for money. So she, so she wants to bring problems into a woman that has done nothing to her. This is saying insecurity. This is saying I'm not financially independent. I'm not self-reliant. I don't know how to make it on my own. I'm a gold digger. And I cannot afford for you to leave me. I don't care if you don't love me. You're not happy with me. We can make it work. I'm going to keep pretending like I'm healed, that I'm over the situation, that I'm not stalking another woman, sending my friend to stalk her. Someone is sending your friend to stalk another woman. So it says she's working from behind the scenes. Her friend is up front. Her friend is doing all the dirty work. Someone is not realizing that this woman, the reason why she's calm around you is because she has someone doing her dirty work, keeping track of another woman, interfering with communications, trying to see if a masculine is communicating with a feminine energy so they can block it. They can interfere there's another woman in here that she's working with this is a friend of hers they're acting like they're fbi agents spies or something like that i'm telling you i'm speaking to god on this truth this woman and her friend are working together they are working together the friend may be following you following you around in a car a white suv possibly 
but she's following you around. They want to make sure this masculine does not get in contact with you, does not connect with you to give you an offer. I'm telling you, they don't want you getting this offer. But every action this woman takes is leading you to your abundance. She's going to get karma. Abundance. Promotion. I kid you not. Someone is, someone is about to invest in your work. Someone is about to invest in you. Someone is about to pour into you. Someone is about to support you like no one has ever supported you before because they know you are someone loyal. You are a go-getter. Absolutely. Someone knows how committed you are. You are strategic. Strategic. You're a planner. Very articulate is what I'm hearing. Intellectual. Hardworking. You're innovative is what I just heard. You're like forward going, forward moving. And the masculine, whoever he is, is like he does not want to show himself in here. <laughs> He's hiding. I would not be surprised if it's an emperor. He sees all of this about you. And this woman is upset. Someone has been pretending to be you. She's lazy. She sleeps all day. She barely wants to be around this masculine. But since he, she found out in some way that he's interested in another feminine and maybe moving on, all of a sudden, she's the ideal partner. She wants to spend time with you. She wants to go for a walk. She wants to go for a drive. She wants to go out to eat with you now. Before, she probably didn't even want to be seen with you. She just wanted your money. But because you have said that you want to or in some way she found out that you are wanting to move on. She is now the ideal partner. And she's only the ideal partner because she has someone doing her dirty work. Oh, her secret is being told. Oops. Oops. You weren't supposed to know that, sir, if you're watching this video. You are not supposed to know that. Oops. You are not supposed to know that, sir. You were not supposed to know that. I'm telling you, I'm the menace to society. <laughs> There's someone that watches me and they despise me because everything I say is true. I'm telling you, darling. I'm telling you. It is crazy. I said menace to society, and then the dinosaur comes out. I feel like I'm being exposed right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so exposed. I need that. I promise I don't have any ill intent. <laughs> oh my gosh, absolutely, honey. Just look at that. Your victory for your Ten of Pentacles is ensured. You're going to connect with this person. He's hiding because he knows. It's, it's a, I forgot what the word is. But it's a kind of divine intervention and plan, right? He's hiding because what he's planning to do is secret. Someone is also watching, this woman is watching tarot videos to stay ahead of the game. Look what's on the bottom. Thank you. The two of cups. Success in love, success in business, a new reality will be manifested. This is creativity, success at a whole different level. This is like you and your partner being the best of friends. No one can come between you two. All you understand each other like the back of your hands. When your partner is having a hard day, you know. You know what to do to, to brighten up their day. They don't have to ask. 
You don't have to ask them what's wrong. You kind of intuitively already know that something is wrong. So you go out of your way to make them happy. There's equal give and take. This is the relationship where when someone is sick, you're cooking soup for them. You're making them tea, making sure they're okay, taking medicine and things like that. Now, this is what this masculine wants, but he does not have that with her. And since she found out that he may be interested in someone else, she's more than likely has become this for him. And she hates every bit of it. She hates having to take care of him. She hates having to fake her emotions, pretending to care about him. It is eating her up on the inside. But how else is she going to get her money? How else is she going to get her money? There's a court case going on for some of you. And things are being made right. Someone is advocating for you on your behalf for your Ten of Pentacles. For someone out there, people stole from you. People stole from you and the wrong is being right. I'm telling you, it's being righted. It's being right. Someone is fixing it. Absolutely, there's a court case that's been going on that you are not aware of. And Spirit is fixing it. They're doing the right thing. I'm telling you, collaboration. You're coming out of the cold. Both of you are coming out of the cold. There's some type of distance or loss between the two of you is what I'm getting with the six of cups above this five of pentacles. There's some type of loss between the two of you, a connection. Someone may, may be losing a home as well someone may be getting put out of a home someone is losing quite a lot for collaborating behind the scenes to block a union from coming together they're heartbroken uh, there's a meeting between you and your soul twin that's divinely guided it is going to take place so regardless of what these rascals are doing behind the scenes the meeting is divinely orchestrated so it's going to happen either way it does not matter if they follow this masculine to yonder you know spying his phone which is what i'm getting they're looking through his phone and his computer possibly when he's sleeping at night someone here goes to bed on time possibly and the woman gets up and goes through his stuff she wants to see who you're talking to she may have some type of spyware on your phone on your computer She's going through your documents. Someone may be trying to steal from you. Someone's trying to steal a ten of pentacles from someone else. But it's a collaboration. This is a group effort. Someone watches you on social media for some of you. The, the page of source is not the only social media card for me. This Three of Pentacles is a social media card for me as well because I always see this as people down here watching you on stage. Watching you work or watching your work. Okay? But there is a meeting that is divinely orchestrated by spirit. It is going to happen. It is going to happen. Yeah, this collaboration is over. It is over. These people are receiving karma. The Queen of Pentacles, things are not going in her favor. She's being exposed. Her intentions, in tr her true intentions are being exposed. And karma is knocking on their door. Say, hey, remember us? Remember me? This is Sister Mayat. Excuse me, Sister. Sister Pentacles. It's time. Oh, no, 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 please. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, we hear you're sorry. But you still have to take your karma. So... Things are not going in this woman's favor. It's like someone said they could pretend and pretend and pretend and pretend. 
but it's not going in her favor. It's almost also as though there's a masculine that knows that there's a woman that's pretending to be something she is not, and he's playing right along with her. Sir, I don't know if you watched me, but I'm so sorry for exposing that. I just have to see the message as it comes. I'm just doing my job. But I am absolutely sure that you are aware that there's a woman in your energy that's pretending to be something that she's not, and you are playing right along with her. She thinks you're boo-boo the fool. But you were born on a day and it just was not yesterday. But this woman thinks you're boo-boo the fool. Someone may be getting pulled out of a home. It could be her. She does not want to leave. You, Someone is thinking about giving a woman some type of financial payout to just go away. It's like, just, just go away. I know you want money. Here you go. Go away. Someone is hoping, collective, that you're going to leave your ten of pentacles out in the cold. Absolutely not. This is why spirit is telling you to stand your ground. Keep moving forward. Keep pushing forward. Things are going to be in your favor. It is already divinely orchestrated to go in your favor. You will not be leaving anything in your in, leaving anything out in the cold. People are receiving their karma. This Queen of Pentacles, this is like the last karmic standing. It's the last karmic standing versus an earth angel or you collective. Let's see who the most high is going to choose. Oops. Is it the earth angel? Because she's been told to move on. She's exposed. Yeah, financial payout. He's going to pay her to leave him alone. Someone wants to shake you up, collective. They want to shake up your world. Make you feel uncomfortable. So that you're not even thinking about love or moving forward. Well, if whatever it is they're doing. But you are staying calm. It's like someone going out of their way to bring chaos and drama in your life. But you're just looking like, okay, so this is ridiculous. Like, I'm too grown for this. Like, get a life. And they don't realize every step they take is just exposing them even more. This masculine could not even be saying anything to this woman. And he's just watching her. I tell you, this is a source will not leave the bottom. And he just watching her make a fool out of herself. Uh, oh, I'm so glad I see this now. I don't know how it took me this long to see the truth about you. He's heartbroken because he knows she's not genuine, but he's been genuinely showing her love. But he's realizing, mm -mm. so this is who she is. And you are staying calm. You have the strength. To move forward, this masculine has gone under strength to give you this commitment. It is absolutely going to be going in your favor. This woman wants to come in or send someone to give you some type of payment so you can walk away. You will not. It's like everything is just being exposed. Everything is being exposed. For some of you, there's a plan by a woman to separate a family, a mother, and her children. Because if you are more focused on something else, then she can keep the masculine. This is going to make him leave you even more because this person knows more about what you're doing than you realize. So I said something about children and this is here. So she's definitely trying to interfere and break a family up. Rude awakening coming for you. And they're doing this just so this masculine can see you in some type of light. They want him to see you as someone broke, a poor mother figure, not a good wife material, not someone at all that he wants to partner up with. Lots of ulterior motive. This is like someone you being like really committed to your work. You're a hard worker. You're a planner. You're very st strategic on how you approach things. And people see that you are very successful. You are growing and things like that. 
and they find out that someone very influential wants to uh, 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 connect with you, right? And they don't want this masculine connecting with you because there's either uh, some type of bigotry going on, insecurity going on, planning, collaborations going on. So they start doing things to interfere with your work from behind the scenes. And then all of a sudden, you're slacking at work. And it's that way, hold up. What is going on? This is not like this person. This is what this masculine is thinking. This is not like this person. This person shows up to work every day, does their work without no complaints, without any problems. I don't have to bug them to do anything. All of a sudden, they're not showing up to work or they're calling off and things like that. I need to find out what's going on. They assume that this masculine was just going to say, oh, well, she's not. Let's say for a second since I post on social media. Well, she's not posting anymore, so I just give up. I'm not going to even bother. No, this masculine decided to look into things and he found the truth out that someone, people, have been interfering behind the scenes. So he knows. He absolutely knows. Someone is advocating for you behind the scenes. Some of you star seeds, collective, soul trap members, someone or a group of people are defending you behind the scenes because there's so much being exposed and people didn't expect this to be exposed. Someone wanted you to be seen as a liar. I keep hearing, saying, hearing someone saying she's a liar. No, she's not. No, she's not. Yeah, I'm telling, I'm telling you, this masculine has removed himself from these people, from this woman. He's seeing things from a higher perspective, which means he's seeing the truth. It's can, it cannot be hidden anymore. And he's going through healing, is what I'm hearing. He's going through healing. He experienced some type of setback. Because of something he did, either partnering up with this woman to do something to someone or to interfere with something. So he experienced some type of setback and he is going through healing. Someone is also going through healing because of childhood wounds. This masculine is extremely successful in life, but the people he has been connecting with are not genuine, so they've never assisted him with healing. And he comes across you, and you spark healing in him. He likes to hear you. He likes to be around you. He likes your energy. You're very vibrant and positive, genuinely positive. And he now knows the difference between genuine energy and false energy. So he feels very much connected to you so he's leaving them out in the cold he wants a fresh start so he does not care what he has to do he is still going to come towards you because he's removing himself from this situation this masculine is not waiting anymore because divine timing is here if this was in the upright this will mean that he still has to wait, but he's not waiting. Divine timing is here. It is here. Things always change is also what I'm hearing. And this is what these people don't realize. Nothing stays the same. There's always change going on. The wheel is always moving, whether forward, backwards, however way. It's always moving. And then please, yeah, heartbreak. Someone, honey, please look at this. This person is going through healing. And this started here and worked their way to here. They're going through healing. And someone is heartbroken about that. There's a feminine energy that's heartbroken about that because this masculine is healing. She wanted this masculine to see you in a light that's not yours, that's not fitting. She wanted this masculine to see you as her 
and her as you, but he's seeing the truth and she's heartbroken about that. Whatever this masculine is going through is causing a lot of forcing for this pe for these people. They don't want him seeing the truth, but it's too late. It's like they were trying to hide you. They were trying to hide you is what I'm hearing. If he just doesn't see her, he won't try to connect with her. Lies. They were trying to hide you. They were trying to silence you, shut you up in different ways, collective. If you work a nine to five, probably someone playing with your hours so you're not there when this masculine is there. If you own your own business, they're messing with the business so it's not successful, so you can look clueless to this masculine. If you post content online, they're messing with the content so it's not being seen. All kinds of stuff. But they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken because this person has intense emotions for you. This person has emotions for you like he's never had emotions for anyone else. And this is terrifying him and them. They don't understand. Someone may have told this person that you did some type of magic on them. That is why they are so attracted to you. But if you are a star C, you don't need to do anything like that. We don't move like that. Things come to us naturally, no matter how long it takes. Everything is divinely orchestrated. So we don't have to do any voodoo, he do, she do, co do, her do. We don't have to do none of that. It comes naturally because everything that's meant for us is divinely orchestrated by the most high. So it will locate you at the right time. So these people are going to stay heartbroken. They, they can keep telling him that. I'm telling you, heartbroken. They can keep telling this masculine that you are doing voodoo. That's fine. But the most high is vindicating you within this masculine. So he knows the truth. He knows the truth about your character. There's a king of cups in here that's experiencing some type of loss. It's that he lost an opportunity with you is what I'm hearing. He lost an opportunity with you. You were a gift to this person. They rejected you, is what I'm hearing. And now he's heartbroken because the truth is being seen about you. You are someone who is positive. You're in the upright. Someone wanted you to seem that you were codependent. You were a liability, is what I'm hearing. And he's heartbroken because he's finding out that you're not. Some of you collective are wealthy, you're independent. Some of you are not, but you're still taking care of yourselves. And this masculine is realizing that you were a gift to this person. You were someone's chance, hope, and new life. Having a genuine connection with someone. And they may have lost that or they're, they are afraid that they've lost that. Y'all can shuffle on camera. Craziness. Someone's having nightmares. Lord have mercy. Yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy. This person would like to come towards you, give you some type of offer, but they cannot. They're to, being told to move on. They're being told to move on. There's divine intervention. You have a new contract with a higher level soulmate. Someone that has a mind of their own is what I'm hearing because this person was led astray by this group of people. 
so they lost their chance with you and they are devastated. Someone is also burdened by actions they took against you. And someone for you, there's a masculine that's burdened because he stood by and let people do something to you, harm you, block you. And the whole time he didn't realize that they were in the wrong or maybe he knew and he just didn't make any effort to help out. So now he's thinking about coming in to give you some type of superficial love, love that's not even a, 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 a promising and it's a no. It's a no. The universe said no. They, he's, he was, he's been told to move on. Move on, player. He was told to move on. Let it go. Cut his losses and just move on. For some of you, this is the King of Cups that's realizing that he has some type of connection with you. He may be taking actions to come towards you. There's divine intervention for everything. For everything. Someone is planning something malicious, but there will be divine intervention. Someone wants to take some type of quick action to come towards you and cause you an ending, betray you again. Instead of going to heal and figure things out, figure life out, figure out why they are the way they are, they are still planning on coming in in a hurry to betray you and your ancestors are not having it. This person is going to have an ending they cannot even imagine. The moment they decide to do something to you, to do you something, your ancestors are on the move. It's like, I wish you would. Please, please do bust the move. We want you to. We absolutely want you to. Someone has fallen from grace. It could be this person that has fallen from grace. They're going through some type of betrayal. This could be someone from your past. The cups, like the king of cups, queen of cups, page of cups. These people remind me of people that you may know. There's some type of familiarity to them. They could be a brother, a sister, a, a, a ex-lover, father, mother. Some type of relations. But your ancestors said they wish a mother sucker would bust the move. They're just waiting, eagerly waiting. Like, ooh, please do, please do, um, please, please do. I want you to, I want you to. So we can end you once and for all. to someone Lord have mercy they want you to they absolutely want you to someone I just heard something about an occultist someone is working with an occultist either they owe this occultist money or this occultist paid them to do something they cannot fulfill their end of the bargain. This occultist is waiting for results, but they cannot provide results and it's not looking pretty. There is an occultist in here as well that is experiencing an ending. And this is divine intervention by your ancestors, by the cosmos, for this occultist to experience this ending. It is a humbling experience for them. Thank you. This occultist has been interfering with a message from coming in. You are supposed to be receiving some type of news, but someone has been working with an occultist to prevent you from receiving this news, this message. They've been lying about your character. You are someone that is high vibing. 
You have sacred knowledge. You are heal. You are a healer. But this occultist and whoever has been working with him, possibly someone from your past, they have been lying and saying that you are someone insincere. They've been blocking a message from coming towards you. Someone could be friends with an occultist. And they don't realize this person is doing stuff behind the scenes to interfere with a connection, a collaboration, something. They want to shake you up. They don't want people seeing the truth. They want you to be confused. They want people to be confused. But someone is working with an occultist. And your angels are stepping in to end this person. They are being exposed as well. This occultist is being exposed. Okay? This occultist has been waiting to, for some type of message to hear something horrible has happened to you. And they will not receive that message. They're the ones receiving bad news. Absolute bad news. This ten of swords is this occultist down. Occultist down. He is down. Now his true character is being exposed. Excuse me. His true character is now being exposed. Someone has been pretending to be angelic, to be religious in the upright, to be a team member, to be nurturing someone that pours into the other people. But this ending he has experienced is exposing him for the darkness that he is. And now he can no longer pretend. Someone can no longer pretend to be something they are not. This is someone that was pretending to be spiritually gifted. But this is someone that does things behind the scenes to make things go in their favor. Paying people behind the scenes. And he cannot anymore because he's exposed. I said something about a letter interfering with a message. And this is at the bottom. And this beautiful ace of swords is still at the bottom as well. It keeps showing up. It has something to say. I'm telling you, I cannot shuffle on camera. And the letter came out again. Lord have mercy. There's an occultist that is down. There is a, 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 a collaboration that is over. These people are scattering, moving on with your lives. Absolutely. You are being seen as the Queen of Cups. This woman... Honey, is a lot of characters in here that are up against you. They are up against you. This is why there are so many characters showing up. There's an occultist in here. There's a, a, a crazy woman in here. Someone's wife or ex-partner. Someone's baby mama. Someone's mother. You have a lot of people with ulterior motives. With some type of vendetta against you that you've never done anything to. And they want to end you. Someone wants to break your heart, Queen of Cups. There's a Queen of Cups in here that's being exposed as well. It's a lot of characters. Too many karmics. And they've all gone up against you and fail. Fail as well. Miserably. And you didn't have to lift a finger. You simply had to talk to your angels and tell them what the heck was going on and tell them what the heck you wanted them to do. And they moved on your behalf. This occultist is done. He's exposed. People didn't know what this person was up to behind the scenes. This is someone into illegal activities is what I'm hearing. This is someone that has some type of addiction. He's dealing with addiction. I say addition on my channel because I don't know if that's uh, the other word is something YouTube is going to ban. But this is someone dealing with a lot of additions with substances. This is someone on you. This is someone that goes both ways is what I'm hearing. But he prefers men. Someone out here could be pretending to be, uh, could be in some type of bearded relationship for some of you. 
But this person is being seen for who they are. He wanted people to see you, Queen of Cups, as what he is. The God honest truth. The truth is being illuminated. The truth is being illuminated. Your pathway is clear because this occultist is done. Your ancestors has finished him. Finito. This person expected to destroy you, to defeat you because he has connections. He has money. Money means nothing to the universe. Money means nothing. Who you're connected to means nothing to the universe. They will humble you if you need to be. And obviously, this person needed to be humble. And I know we have two people here. This person could be in a bearded relationship where the wife, whoever he's with, is assisting him as well behind the scenes. They're both done. But it's mainly this, this occultist. This is a masculine energy that is down. For some of you, there's a, mas a, a feminine energy who is an occultist that's done as well. Working over time. Listen, working over time. They've been working over time to end you. This is someone that's into something he cannot get out of. And there are people in here that have been foolish enough to bind themselves to this person and they're going down with him. This is someone that lies a lot and pay people and bind them to him. That's exactly how I see that. This is a liar. And someone accepted some type of payment from this person. And he's trying to collect. But he has so much going on behind the scenes. He can't even collect. He can't like come and say, where's my money? Because he's going through endings. He has too much going on in his personal life to focus on what on what other people owe him. I'm telling you, honey, you are the queen of cups. Your pathway is clear. You're stepping out on hope. Your pathway is absolutely clear. You're someone that's being watched. You could be being watched on social media. I said something about social media up here as well. And the car comes out. You are absolutely being watched by these people. If you have a business, they're being they're watching you. If you work with these people, you best believe they're watching you. Going through your belongings, things of that nature. Going through things, just looking into you. Someone's doing like an illegal background check, or this is what they did. Someone was determined to find something on you that they could blackmail you with. And when they couldn't find something on you, they started telling a whole lot of lies. Someone underestimated you because you show up in this energy, Queen of Cups. You show up in this energy. They don't like the fact that you are classy. You're dignified. It doesn't matter how much money you have in your bank account. When people see you, you're well put together, well spoken, down to earth. You don't, you're not vain. You're not into superficial things. You don't pay attention. You don't put a focus on beauty and things like that. You're down to earth. Nature loves you. You love nature. You probably have a little garden, some of you. You like to be outside, working your garden, taking care of your plants and things like that. You're wholesome. This person doesn't like that. So they've been working behind the scenes. This is what he's been doing this for years to people. You're not the first one. This person has done this too. You're not the first one, but you're just the wrong one. He, you're the wrong right one that he picked. And he's finding out. Not everyone you meet is meant to be fooled with. He's losing a whole lot. Finances, house, possibly his bearded marriage. Losing a whole lot. This person is exposed. Exposed. Disingenuine. This is someone that only cares about himself. 
But if he can use you for something, you best believe he's going to befriend you. You two will be best of friends until he can't use you anymore. And then it's like he doesn't know you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They are trying to keep you stuck. Trying to keep you from moving forward. But as you can see, this is your destiny. You, your pathway is clear. They don't want people seeing you. They're trying to hide you. These people are causing a whole lot of confusion. They may even be saying that you are the one causing confusion. Maybe you wrote a letter, sent a text matches. Maybe you're saying something, living in a particular way. Maybe someone saw you. But someone is saying that you are causing confusion and you're not even around these people. So how are you causing confusion? Most of you aren't even around these people. And when you are around them, you're not doing anything to cause them mayhem. But they have to keep the lie going. I'm telling you, you are still moving forward. Your opportunity, this brand new passionate beginning is still being presented to you. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Your enemies do not want to fight with you anymore. Lord. <laughs> Did I not say something about the emperor? I said something about the emperor. And here he is. He has arrived. He has arrived. The emperor has arrived. So what it is, is that they're telling him not to come towards you, not to give you this passionate beginning, this new offer. They don't want this masculine giving you this offer, this opportunity. He's removed himself from this situation. He's not going back and forth with these people anymore. This emperor wants peace in his life. This someone here wants to compromise. This emperor may reach out to you so that you two can reconcile, come to some type of compromise so that you all can move on. Because there's just too much shenanigans going on. He wants it to be over. This chaos, he wants it to be over. He knows who he wants to give the opportunity to, who he wants to have his new beginning with, who he wants to connect with, who he wants to work with, whether it's in love or work, opportunity, career. He knows exactly who he wants to give it to. And these people cannot fool him anymore. They cannot pull tricks out of the bags anymore. This person sees them for exactly who he is, who they are. It's over. The fighting. Yeah, absolutely. Honey, I'm telling you, he knows. He knows. He knows. And he is removing himself, as I said, from this situation. Someone said, I have better things to do with my life and my time. That could be what this emperor is saying. He knows to keep his distance. He went to someone and they told him to keep his distance from these people. He may have gone to a high priestess or this could be someone that's gifted. Strong gift of discernment. This person has a strong gift of discernment. He does not want to be part of this childishness anymore. So he is removing himself from the equation. Okay. This emperor is protecting himself from these people. 
protecting his wealth. I'm telling you. Because he, they are exposed. He sees them for who they are. They want to defeat you for absolutely no reason. And this is because they're financially focused. They've been stealing from this person for years. Exploitation is what I just heard. Exploitation. This occultist is living in fear, trying to distance himself from this situation that he created because this is someone that has been pretending to be something he's not, but doing things behind the scenes, and now he's in fear, hiding. He doesn't want conflict, but it's being brought to him. People want clarity. Why did you do this? Why did you say this? Someone's going to be, I'm telling you, exposed. Exposed. Someone went to a high priestess and she told the truth about actions these people have been taking behind the scenes, how someone stole from you collective, how someone wanted to steal from you or steal from you again. These people stole something from you and they're exposed. They feel entitled to what's yours. Hmm. it's a negative they're not stealing anything from you they're absolutely not going to be stealing anything from you they cannot someone in here thought they could come in either steal your your resources, your opportunities, so they could live a luxurious lifestyle. They cannot. There's no luxury at the end of the rainbow for someone. There's another emperor in here. This someone, this person is a trickster. This is someone that is into luxury but does not work for it, doesn't want to work for it, and he's not having it. He's not getting it. Hmm. My goodness. Someone took actions to block your work, but now they're crying because your, your future is still insured. You're standing your ground. You're being defended by source, your supporter. Someone is advocating for you, speaking on your character, illuminating the truth about you. You are the privileged lady, the privileged gentleman. You are the truth. You're intellectual. You're speaking the truth in some way, shape, or form. You're living in your truth. You're standing your ground. They know you're not with the BS. You tell them to cut the crap if they come to you. Your victory is ensured. You are moving towards your ten of pentacles. You don't have time for gaslighting or false love. Unpromising love. You are intuitive. No one can confuse you. Your new beginning is here. They don't want you to see the truth. They don't want you to see the truth, but you see the truth. You know there's a new beginning up ahead for you. Your character is ensure you are someone genuine. You give love and friendship genuinely without expectation someone believes in you loves you and appreciate what you do for them or you did for them because you expose a side of them that they are able to heal and you have been healing them slowly not knowing that you are healing someone and they want to connect with you so that you two can build together they know you went through some type of tumultuous time they are going through a tumultuous time themselves Oh, Lord Jesus, they are separating themselves from someone so that they can move on with their life. Whoever they're separating from does not want them to go. They're throwing a fit because the opportunity they wanted with this person is not going to be given to them. This is your opportunity. Someone went through disappointment, but they are having a brand new passionate beginning in life. This could be this masculine or you. You two are reflecting each other, mirroring each other's journey. 
You too have the power to move forward in life. You have all the necessary skills, tools, support from the cosmos to move on with your life. You will be meeting in divine timing. You best believe this person knows exactly where you are and they will approach you in divine timing so that you too can seal the karma waters, heal together. This person is your protector. This is like your soul guy in flesh. This is your emperor. You are the queen of pentacles. People interfere with your forward movement, but they are experiencing karma. They expect the things to go in their favor. Absolutely not. Life is a projection of the energy you put out, so you cannot move forward. You have to serve your karma so that balance can be brought into the situation. Someone wanted to cause mayhem in your life, but your ancestor absolutely stepped in on your behalf, not having it. Gabriel is blowing the horn. <laughs> Judgment has been made. No one is bringing chaos to you anymore because you did not deserve what these people were doing to you. They had ulterior motives, painting you in a light that did not befit you. This is out of greed and selfishness, feeling entitled to what does not belong to them. These people need healing, but they are refusing to heal but are being made to walk away because their superficial way of living is being exposed. They can no longer steal from someone. You are calm. You are brave. You are courageous. You are secure. Your future is secure. People try to defeat you. People betrayed you, stabbed you in the back multiple times and you stay calm you knew the truth all along people thought you didn't know what was going on you didn't know where the betrayal was coming from where all the attacks were coming from but you absolutely knew all of the lies that were going on all of the trickery all of the abuse of power all the mental games you knew the whole time but you never said anything because you knew how the story was going to end because you're divinely guided you are the one with the spiritual gifts. No one in here has spiritual gifts but you and your emperor. So when spirit told them to stop or you gave them hints to stop doing what they were doing, they never listened. They thought you were weak and irrelevant and they could do whatever they wanted to do to you. You were a little twig. They could break easily and move on with their lives, but they found out real soon that was not the case. Someone has been paying people behind the scene through lies and manipulation to trap you in something that is unholy. There is an occultist with a vendetta against you. You hurt his ego. You bruise his ego. He does not know how to heal and move on. This is a narcissist that cannot move on. He's living in fear because your ancestors are on their behind. They want retribution. Someone did not know who they were going up against. Someone did not know who they were going up against. Someone thought this was you. They thought you had mental issues, confidence issues. You didn't see who you were. You didn't know who you were. You were stuck in some type of past life mentality, childhood mentality, struggling with traumas and things like that, PTSD, but they found out you are absolutely not. You are you. You see things from a higher perspective. You are awakening. You are enlightening. You know what other people do not know and it bothers these people because they don't know what you know. You heal people just by them looking at you or being in your presence. You heal them. And they wanted to turn you upside down, present you in a light that did not fit you. What you are is what they wish to be, but they can never be because they don't want to face your demons, even though the demons are facing them every day when they look in the mirror. They want to be you, but cannot because they refuse to put in the work to heal. These are narcissists, conniving people that feel entitled to what does not belong to them. They feel entitled to your energy. Someone feels entitled to your energy. They don't know how to let go. You're like a drug for this person. 
there's a queen of wands in here that's heartbroken because you are being seen as the queen of cups even though she's done everything to steal from you block you she's exposed there's a queen of wands in here you could be the queen of wands but there's a couple of women in here that are friends that have been stealing from behind the scenes their friendship is over this collaboration is over between these two they're exposed for who they are they can no longer hide they've been working from behind the scenes thinking you didn't know that they were stealing from you absolutely you knew this is what they were trying to steal from you eventually but they could not they could not okay you were a gift to a king of cups, but he did not have the balls to stand up and do what's right by your side. You may not know this masculine. You may know him. This is being illuminated to him. He now knows the truth about how bad he royally effed up. So the life he was supposed to have with you, a promising life where you two would be investing into your future, your empire, into each other, it is no more. This is a lesson. I can read this backwards as well. This is crazy. I don't even know what else to say, but honey, it's done. I keep hearing you're playing with the big boys now, and this is coming from your ancestors. You're playing with the big boys now. You're playing with the big boys now. You're playing with the big boys now. And this is because this person came up against an energy of this magnitude. They came after a Queen of Cups. They came after a Queen of Cups. You look defensive. You didn't do anything to these people. They were fighting you. You weren't fighting back, so they kept doing more. It's that you punch someone and they don't punch you back. So you think you can keep punching them. He said, oh, okay, well, they don't punch back, so I'm going to punch them again. And now you're punching this person repeatedly. They're bloody and things like that, but you don't care. You feel powerful and invincible because this person is not fighting back. Only for you to realize that this person has been letting you hang yourself. Because they know at the end of the day, they're going to heal from what you're doing to them. They're going to move on and seal on to karma waters to their destiny is not what you think it was. You can tell all the lies you want to yourself at the end of the day, but you know the truth that you picked a fight with the wrong person. No one had ulterior motives. No one did anything to you. You feel weak because you were unable to defeat a Queen of Cups. You thought you were more powerful because you have been doing magic for a long time. Magic, by the way. You said someone is in the light. She's in the light. He's in the light. You're in the dark. You think you're more powerful because you've been doing this for 10, 7, 14, 15, 30 years. You thought you were more powerful. And then you effed around and found out that it's not the case. Absolutely not the case. Someone here is going to prison. Someone will not be recovering. Someone is losing everything. All because of stubbornness. All because of stubbornness. That is Marie. I'll see you all in the next one. Actually, I am going to do an angel card, angel number message today. <gasps> 444. This is my number. Oh my God. 444. 
I'm going to do that one. It says, trust your journey, trust the way your life unfolds, and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. I am protected. Lord, I am, listen. That 444 by my channel's name is not accidental. This is the number that I resonate with. And I picked this up, and this is what as the what's at the bottom. Let me actually shuffle this so next time we can get, get a different number. I'm gonna put this in the middle. There we go. I'm telling you, you see me still struggling to shuffle these cards. Lord have mercy. How embarrassing we Cynthia, we have to look professional. Get your act together. Lord have mercy. Okay. Okay, so that is shuffle. Next time we will pull a different one. Listen, we have 999. Think the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. I am unique. Honey, I am loving that. Lord have mercy. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Thank you for supporting. Stay blessed. And goodbye for now.